Hi there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got to Mount Bolbono, which is here, and now we're going to try to get through it. Uh, I believe the first story moon here can be skipped. I might give that a try if I can, but it's quite difficult to do. Uh, if I can do this timer challenge. Uh, yeah, that should be doable. I just need to... Not do that, and then I should be fine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So the first moon, like the first story moon, is on that platform over there where the brutals are flying above. And when you step on any part of that platform, the fight starts. I don't think you can, I think you might be able to get past it without actually stepping on that platform. Although it would be quite difficult. Um, you basically have to damage boost through the lava uh, to get over there. And damage boosting is quite tricky in this game. <laughs> well, on lava it is anyway. It's, it's tricky. Uh, let's just have a look around and see what other moons we can get before heading that way. There is another one up here, piled on the salt. Is it this, the name of this moon up here? So this stuff is salt, not sugar, in case you're wondering. There you go, piled on the salt. Uh, so that's two moons out of 18. Uh, there's a Goombet moon here as well, which you can get without too much trouble. So let's do that. If we can... <laughs> Forget you need to pile up multiple Goombas here or not. Uh, I think you probably do, you usually do for these ones. Uh, let's see how we go, is three enough? It's hard to tell from all the way over here. Uh, basically, you have to roll along that corn. When you step on it, it'll like start spinning and become a platform that moves along. Uh, also, these tomatoes are very dangerous. Uh, let's see if three is enough. So yeah, you have to step on the platform to help it spin and then make your way over there. Okay, that's not quite enough. I do need four Goombay to get over there. Yes, that's the plural, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, watch out for the tomatoes, tomatoes, those things. Uh, also, the Goombas here are wearing little chef hats, which is pretty cute. There we go. So we've got all four, so now we'll have enough to greet Goombat over here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. There we go. And she falls in love instantly and gives us a moon. There we go. So that's three out of 18, making good progress. Uh, to actually get the moon, we have to uncapture, which will scare her off instantly. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Thankfully, she leaves the moon behind when she leaves, so we still get it. <laughs> okay, um, let me see here. If we can manage to capture a lava bubble, we might be able to make our way over? Hmm. Hmm. I think that's about all we can do on this side. Uh, there's a checkpoint all the way over there. I don't think we can make it that far, but maybe we can? Maybe we can. There aren't, there don't seem to be any love bubbles spawning down there yet, which might make it tricky. Uh, later on the layout changes and then there are love bubbles down there. Oh, there's a moon there, hang on. <laughs> yeah! So that's four. Okay, that, there's a love bubble. Uh, I believe getting this love bubble doesn't help you though, because it's stuck on this side of the big wall. You can jump quite high as a love bubble, but not high enough. Uh, let's see. We can go out here. Yeah, I know, Cappy. Uh, I just, just did it, went through there. Uh, and that lets us access this area. 
I don't know if that helps us. There's a hidden block there, by the way, in case you were wondering. Uh, I guess a couple of these little tomatoes. Or I guess they're tomatoes. Rubber band is maybe slipping a bit. I keep ground pounding accidentally. Okay, that's better. Okay, um... Looks like they have to go the intended way, which is really weird. I think there might be a way to get around it. Let's, let's keep looking for a little bit more. Ow. Ugh. Well, now that I've already taken a hit, I won't have enough health to damage boost my way through, but, you know, let's, let's have a quick look. So basically what you have to do is, as you're falling towards the lava, you need to throw Cappy and keep her out like this. Because then after you bounce off the lava, you can bounce off Cappy, which cancels out the damage animation, basically and allows you to continue to the next bit. I think you probably have to... Uh, you might need a life apart to do this, and to get one, you'd have to go back to a previous kingdom. Um, since, as far as I know, that all the life up parts in this kingdom are past this point. Uh, there's a fairly easy free one near the end, but... You know, we're not near the end yet, so... Oh my god, I, I, I have so much trouble timing lava bubble captures, even at the best of times, but when I can't throw a cappy on the ground, it's, it's, it's a big problem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I, I think it's best to start by climbing into the Odyssey. In order to gain some height. Because then you can just get up here. Okay, let's see here. I, I think you probably want to damage boost towards that checkpoint over there. I don't know. That's pretty far, though. Uh, maybe it's possible? Maybe. Okay, that wasn't timed right at all. But you get the idea. You have to throw Cappy, then bounce off her. And I think that's too far. That looks really far. Okay, I'll give it one more try, and then I'm going to try going the normal way. No, he took a hit, so this isn't going well. I think there might be some hearts over here somewhere. No. Okay, uh, let's try to do the boss battle, I guess. There we go. So yeah, what you meant to do is just get this lava bubble and use it to climb up here on this side. And then when you walk onto this platform, the boss fight starts. Can I step on the edges? I can step on these edges, so maybe I could... Hang on. Hang on, hang on, I can get to here. Is that closer? I think it might be closer. Well, that, that's not how you do it at all. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just do the normal fight and continue the normal way. I think it's doable, it's just really tricky. Also, if you just keep doing that, you're not gonna have much luck. Thankfully the fight is very easy. It's I think it's Spew it again. It was very, very easy to fight. So yeah, um this is what's supposed to happen. You meant to walk to this spot, do the boss battle, and you can proceed up from the proceed from there. Good point. Fast. 
Anyway, he's still easy. I, I started with a hit gone and I'm still fine. <laughs> There you go, easy peasy. I believe that's a multi moon. It might not be actually. Yeah, it's just a regular moon. Cool. Alright, so yeah, that's the boss battle you meant to do. So when you do that, either by actually doing the battle normally or by damage boosting your way past it, which is pretty sure it's doable. Uh, you get to move on to Bronza Plaza, which is the town in this one, in this some kingdom. And it's really nice. It's got some great music. Also, uh, these fork people, these are the native people of, of Mount Volbono, but they're also basically the poles from the Donk City. They work the same way. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> um, so yeah, Bronza Plaza, this is it. Uh, the flag out here we can hit just to mark our progress. I believe the moon up here somewhere. It might be on a different ledge. Yeah, it's up there actually. Some of the moons that are supposed to be here are not here yet. There should be one here, but it's, it's not here yet. It shows up later. Uh. But yeah, it's super easy to climb up here, which is intentional because you need to be able to go over here and get this moon. Uh. There you go. Yeah! So that's 6 out of 18. Uh, this whole area changes later. There's, it gets a lot more interesting. Um, currently, it's just a bunch of lava that you can't do anything with. Uh, there's some coins hiding back here, which is nice. Make back a little money from those deaths earlier. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's anything you can look at with this particular binocular to make something interesting happen. Let's have a look around. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, there's a turnip over here, which you can pull up with the help of your hat. Because Mario doesn't have arms, but Cappy, who also doesn't have arms, can pull things up. I don't know, it's weird. There you go. And the golden turnips have blue power moons in them because that makes sense. Okay, just gotta throw them in the stew over here, and there you go. You get a moon. <laughs> yeah! Uh, once again, the boss here involves using a capture form, so I'm probably not gonna do it. Since. It'll be unchanged, you know. I'm going up here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah! Okay, uh, let's see. There's that checkpoint down there I was trying to get to. It should now be reachable, I believe. Unless I do that, in which case I might have some trouble. Oh, I'm gonna be able to damage boost. Yeah, I still made it. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, if I, you know, damage boost correctly, I would have been able to get over there without. Probably with just one hit rather than two, but, you know, whatever. Uh, there's a moon on this island, so you can go over here and get it. There we go. Yeah! Nine. And you can accidentally roll into the lava because you're trying to capture a lava bubble and they're annoying to capture because I have to keep jumping and they don't go very high. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Um, there's a challenge room over there. I forget what that one's about. I think it might involve captures, so I think that might be one you have to do with the lava bubble, so I might not do it right now. Since, you know, lava bubbles don't crouch. <laughs> um, it's just a sort of. I don't know, it's kind of a platforming challenge, but there's like no repercussions for messing it up whatsoever, so I don't know. Uh, the next story moon is over here, and it involves capturing one of these uh, hand bros, I believe they're called. Which is pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think it used to be possible to do it without capturing a Pambro uh, in 1.0, but I don't think it's doable anymore. I believe it got patched. Uh, so I am going to capture a Pambro eventually. Considering hats, it takes two Capros to actually capture them, which will be annoying. Okay, what you're supposed to do is just, yeah, keep throwing pan with all the cheese in order to break through and get to that switch. Which you can then throw Cappy at because Cappy, unlike Mario, can grab things despite being the one without any arms. I don't know, it's weird. And that breaks open that box which lets you get that moon. Which is of course the next story moon and that gets us up to 10 moons. Bum, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da, ba da, ba da ro. And pressing this moon switch here makes a whole bunch of extra platforms show up. There we go. Which makes it possible to reach the next area without damage boosting. I know for a fact you can do it by damage boosting, but we don't need to. <laughs> Uh, there's also a checkpoint here, which is nice. Always good to have a have a checkpoint. Um, if I can manage to capture this, I can get another moon out of that exchange, which is nice. There we go. Basically, that lantern there, you need to light it by jumping onto it as a fire. There we go. And you can just jump up and grab the moon. There we go. The lantern on the small island, that's the one. Uh, some more of these tomatoes here. Tomatoes. You know, the fruits that are full of lava. You know the ones. Uh, up here there's another spiny. Uh, later on, for some reason, there's a piranha plant up here, but the first time you come here, there is. I don't know what's up with that. It's weird. Uh, anyway, you just gotta capture this fork. Wait, you can take damage when you're a fork? Really? Alright. Um, this part's pretty easy. Like, I mean, it's not even... Like, there's no challenge whatsoever. It's not, not even hard. Like, there's, there isn't even a challenge to be not easy. All you gotta do is capture this piece of meat here. Mario is now a meat. And you just... There we go. There we go. Mustache meat. Delicious. I guess Mario captured like a meat thermometer or something sticking out at the top. I don't know. Uh, and then you start to shuffle over here, and then the bird will see you. There we go. So that bird is Cookateel, who is the boss of this area, who we're probably not going to fight because you have to do it as a lava bubble, and so crouching won't make any difference. We will get this next moon though, because you do that as Mario. And I'm not sure you can actually avoid getting it once you've gone up here, come to think of it. I think that probably... Yeah, you get dropped into the pot and... Can you jump off the edge? I think you probably can, actually. There doesn't seem to be a wall. Let's see what happens. Yep, you can. Alright, so... Does the meat, like, respawn if I do that? Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> Because, yeah, I didn't think there was any other way to get back up there. Um, there is a way to get back up to the pot later, but only after you've gotten that multi-moon, so... 
Huh. Okay, so yeah, we just need to do that last little bit again. Because I wanted to test what happened. <laughs> Gotta break her open the meat again. And the teal will grab it again. So yeah, everything is respawned. Alright. So that's simple enough. Yes, this is the silliest capture in the game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and this cutscene... Oh, it is skippable. Okay, let's... yeah. Just skip ahead. Okay, so yeah, you uncapture the meat once you arrive here. And the multi-moon is up there, and you're just meant to climb over and get it. You can jump on all the veggies and stuff, but you can also just skip it and do what I just did there. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> and Kukatil is absolutely astonished that we somehow were that piece of meat and we get launched away. No, not by the wind actually. The volcano is about to erupt coincidentally. For some reason, there we go. And when that happens, we get launched all the way back to the Odyssey. Because the layout has changed, and so they need us to get launched back to show what's different. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so that was a multi-moon, so we're most of the way there now, I believe. Okay, yeah, we need four more moons. Uh, as you can see, there are now fire bros over here. They were not here before. We can enlist the, their help in order to get a moon. Unless I accidentally kill them, in which case we can't do that. Uh, they should respawn, though, in a moment. Uh, maybe not. Alright, um... I think I can do it with Lava Bubble instead, so... Let's try that. Basically what we want to do is, there's a pair of lanterns over here that we want to light. Near that spiny. And it's a bit tricky if you do it with a love bubble because you stop being a love bubble as soon as you... You know, hit the ground and turn back into Mario, because that's how it works. But I believe we can reach both of these. Yeah, sure did. <sighs> yep, there we go. So yeah, you're supposed to get a fire bro and just light the lanterns that way, which is much easier, but we can do it that way. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. Yeah! Okay, and spinies are annoying, by the way. Uh, there's, like, no way to damage them, as Mario and or as any of the... I think the Fire can kill them? Mario can't damage them, though. Um, and Cappy can't damage them either. They just get, like, knocked around. It's pretty annoying. Uh, we're gonna head towards the next story moon again, because there happens to be a 2D section around there which I would like to demonstrate. Actually, we might have been able to do the 2D section in pub lane now I think about it. I guess we'll see you later when we come back and look for moons that we missed, basically. Uh, it's gonna happen after the store ends, obviously. So here there's just a bunch of fire bros just being annoying. Um, you don't need their help, so they're basically just there to get in the way like a normal enemy. Uh, the intended way to get over here is to go through this pipe here. But of course we can't do that because we're crouching. Fortunately, this particular 2D section is hilariously optional. Because you can just do that and skip it entirely. Uh, you can't get the purple coins that are in there, which is a little frustrating. Uh, we won't be able to get all purple coins. We had some trouble with other, with other 2D sections having the same problem though. Uh, I think putting out these flames might do something. Let's have a look. Apparently not. Alright. Uh, anyway, uh, we come in here. This is a little lava bubble challenge area. You have to be a lava bubble to get through here. Uh, thankfully there's a bunch of them here, so you can be one without too much trouble. There we go. I'm getting better at timing that. <laughs> Which is good, because I need to get better at timing that. 
Uh, that part's pretty easy. Basically, you just have to dodge the little sticks. Uh, come back here, there's a hidden moon. It's not very well hidden, but, you know. Yeah! Uh, then there's one more. And then there's a story moon we can get in this room by coming over to the other side. Uh, we just gotta jump into this one pillar, and that should give us enough height to, yeah. Basically, we just have to light the last lantern. Uh, we're gonna get burned, aren't we? Oh no, we're fine. Okay. Uh, you have to get this one because it's a story moon, which gives you access to that door in front of us. Ta-da! Ta-da! ta da I made one more moon. Uh, so yeah, we won't be doing the boss, but we will be doing a bit more of the area beyond this door. Cookatiel Showdown. I think Hookatiel's the only boss who's actually named in the moon names like that. Like, normally it just describes, like, what it is they were trying to do. Well, okay, whew. I was a little worried you couldn't crawl through doors. But you can, like, slide down them and then go through, which is kind of weird. Uh, these piranha plants spit fire instead of, you know, um, poison like the other ones. Uh, if you light those two torches there, you get a moon, but that's a bit, that's a bit too easy. Let's have a look at the ground. Uh, as for the other piranha plants, Cappy is eaten by them rather than just capturing directly. But you can stun them with a rock, and then, well, I mean, put a rock in their mouth, basically, and then Cappy can capture them. Uh, Captain Toad is over there. We can reach him, but... We're not going to bother right now. We're going to head up this sort of direction. So this is where you're supposed to go to get... Oops. Um, yeah, up here is where you're supposed to travel in order to reach the last story moon. But we're going to be getting something else. I'm not sure what yet. <laughs> we'll get that life up part. That one is pretty easy to get. Um, there's actually some invisible blocks here that I didn't know about, which makes it easier. Uh, also, if you do that, that's pretty annoying. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of invisible blocks here, so... It's actually a lot easier than it looks. But it's also pretty easy just to jump around there rather than activate the blocks. Uh, there's a bunch of spinies around here too, which is a little annoying. I forget whether there is actually another moon up here. Maybe there isn't. Oops. That's not good. Yeah, that's 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 a death. I'm not gonna make it back in time. Huh. <laughs> Did not expect that. Alright, um Actually I think I know where we wanna go. Let's go back to the meat plateau. There's a certain area I would like to take a look at while permanently crouching. Yeah, I, I know that. I mean, it's not called the No Meat Plateau, I guess. Um... We can get... I think just getting this lava bubble will work. So, whoa, there's like a block there now. That's weird. There was a checkpoint there. Is the checkpoint gone? Huh. Yeah, that, it is actually. That checkpoint must... That checkpoint definitely comes back later, so that's kind of weird. Uh, actually, hang on. Hang on, let's grab this moon first. Heal up. There we go. Yeah, grabbing any moon heals you up, including ones you've already gotten, which is kind of handy. Uh. Alright, so what I'm thinking we will do is head this direction and go to this area over here, which is one of the few capless challenge areas that can be accessed as soon as you get to this spot. Like, a lot of them only show up after the game finishes, and a lot of them... And like the one in... we saw one in Shiveria, which was covered in ice, you had to do the story. This one we can just do straight away. So what we've got here is a platforming challenge of sorts, and we have no Cappy to work with, so we may have a little trouble. Or, you know, a lot of trouble. Either way. Uh, so yeah, these... Oh my goodness. That's not a good start. 
There are two moons in here, and the first one is a little bit easier, so we might try going for that and see if that works better. Um, the fact that a long jump causes us to roll is a bit of a problem here. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, uh, I honestly don't know whether this can be done at all, so, uh, I, I think it probably can be, just like really difficultly. Um, I, I know this can be done jumpless, and without Cappy that's quite a feat, so, uh, I imagine it's doable crouch, crouched in some way, I just don't really know how. Uh, remember, but without Cappy to throw, we can't cancel rolling, and we can't cancel long jumps in midair either, which means we have to basically keep going until we bonk, and we don't have access to most other kinds of jumps, because crouching overrides most of our jumps. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, we're gonna go for this one, because, yeah, it's gonna be easier. So, yeah, this one, it's just a bunch of notes. Maybe it won't be easier, actually, because I'm so slow. Let's see. Okay, maybe let's try going for the other one? Maybe. Let's give this another shot and see if I can do it better. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, this is this is gonna be a challenge. Um, I'm glad I chose this room, honestly, <laughs> just to top things up a bit. Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, again, the only way we can really move fast is by rolling and then long jumping. Uh, but the problem with that is we lose basically all control over our movement. Um. And because all of these are sloped surfaces, we're just going to keep rolling off the edge if we're rolling onto one of these platforms. Unless we long jump off at first. Uh, uh, by the way, yes, bonking against an enemy does cancel out your roll, so that's another way of doing it. <laughs> Although you take damage, so, you know, it's not ideal. Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try to go for the notes moon, um, I can I'll give it maybe, a f like, four more tries, and then I'll try, try for one of the other moons around. Oh, uh, that didn't count, that wasn't one of the tries. It's really hard to avoid getting hit by that one. Because either you bonk against the enemy, which is getting hit by it, or you, you, know, you bonk against the wall, and... <sighs> okay, you can do a normal jump shortly after an enemy cancels you out, which is interesting. Uh, okay, so let's try this again. Oh no! Okay, um... I think I'm gonna go for the moon. I've lost track of how many tries that was. <laughs> okay, let's get Cappy. Uh, actually, there's another 2D section in this, in this kingdom over here, which we might be able to do. So let's go and have a look. Because we haven't done any 2D moons yet, and I would like to be able to do one. <laughs> so let's have a look. Um, we can definitely do the 3D moon here. You just have to ground pound a bunch of stuff. The 2D moon, though, might be more of a challenge. Let's see. No, we can do this one. Okay, let's see how we go. Um, we can't actually move, like, while we're crouching like this. We're sort of, we can jump and hop around, but we can't, like, move on the spot, basically. Uh, uh, those falling vegetables don't do anything, like, they won't hurt us, so that's not something to worry about. Oh my goodness, this might be a problem. We did it! Yes! Haha! 
Okay, so that is the Luncheon Kingdom complete. Uh, I'm gonna make my way back to the Odyssey. Um, a word about spoilers, we are reaching the end of the game. Um, we're gonna re be reaching like the last few kingdoms after this and it's gonna, you know, the ending is gonna be in this video and then I'm gonna be visiting post-game content and stuff like that, so... Uh, if you don't want stuff spoiled then, you know, probably should start watching the series at this point. <laughs> um, the reason I bring it up is there is in fact a spoiler on this platform I'm standing on, but we can't see it. I will not be visiting it for a while, we'll see it later. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have enough moons for now. So, we can... I'm just going to warp us back to the Odyssey, just for simplicity's sake. Uh, and next video we will be heading on towards the end game. Uh, there are just a few kingdoms left, and then the end of the story. Um, we have all the runes we need here. That's the Luncheon Kingdom done. 